Okay guys, here I will show you how I will disassemble HP all-in-one 22 inches running on Pentium Intel processor so we will flip it and here you see the plastic trim we need to remove it and what I can tell you on this side uh, plastic pins are shorter and it seems like it will be easier to unsnap it from this side but the gap here is very narrow so it's hard to introduce anything I have something like that the tool but it doesn't help so chances high you can scratch it so rather I will go from this side and I will use this prime tool I bought this to pry some trim in the car but it works very well and the good news this plastic trim is kind of flexible enough and sturdy enough not to break so I'll try that be just very careful not to force too much okay they are good now so if you move a bit this plastic trim you have two screws you can switch the position and here you have two screws Phillips this I'm using this kind of a screwdriver Okay, we are good now. Here you can see plastic pins. They are all here. Nothing got broken so far. On this side, here, on the back. One, two, three, four, five. Think okay. okay, now you need to remove this plastic trim. And to remove this plastic trim, it's not very hard, but you should like that. I'm just gripping it with my fingers, not pushing very much to the screen, trying to pry this away. It might happen that you will break some plastic clips, but I guess it's not that bad mm -hmm. this time. So you see clips again, one side they are longer. But, uh, clips or pins? Okay, so this is it. It's in good condition still. So now we have a lot of screws here. Bottom line has six. So I will proceed. Okay, now here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ok, 
Okay, guys. Now we need to lift that uh, display assembly. Just making sure no screws left. No screws left. That's correct. So I will use a few tools like that. There are some kind of a not the clips but some plastic pins what holds it in a plastic shell on the back Okay, now I will do this. We have a back seat here. So you see why it's useful to disassemble it on a sofa so you can put aside the screen display and you don't need to mess around with these cables whatsoever. To proceed with SSD drive installation you unpin this and there is a place for ssd drive this port so once you install ssd you need to screw it with a screw special one and basically after that you need to reinstall windows and it should be good